I'll, I'll tell you something. Uh, the biggest thing that I think impacted and, and made the biggest difference in my life, uh, becoming a farmer and then continuing to farm, my mom took me around. And I, I never knew this, she kept this from me. Um, but when I got started on my own, she let, let me be aware that she had went around to all of my dad's fields and squatted down in the field and grabbed two handfuls of soil and she prayed over every field my dad farmed. And uh, I was astonished by that. You know, I was just blown away because she had never told me anything like that and we have a pretty good relationship, you know. But um, it's something that she instilled in me that we still do to this day. Um, I think your faith carries everything, and if and if you don't allow it, and you try to carry it on your own shoulders, you're you're setting yourself up to fail. I think farmers are different as a whole, as as far as how they feel about their family and how they love their family, uh, how they'll fight for their family. I, I think most of that is bred into them, you know. Uh, it comes from traditions and years and years of work ethic and morals and values and things that have been instilled into them generation after generation after generation. And I, th I think the, even the ones that leave the farm and go to corporate America, I, I think if you'll look in their families, you'll see the, a resemblance of the farm family still in their house. And Mr. Maynard Douglas told me one time, um, I asked him about the stock market. I asked him how, how, how could he be successful in that? How did he have confidence? And he told me the number one rule was to not be greedy. When you got greedy is when you would lose everything you had. And I think it applies to a lot of aspects of life, uh, just like farming. Of course, if, if the neighbor's got 150 acres next door that comes up for rent, sure, I want it. But, you know, if the next door neighbor, two down, two houses, two farms down, has got an 18-year-old trying to get started farming and he's trying to get the land too. At some point, you gotta be happy where you're at in life and um, give room for the next generation to come aboard and, and not only give room, but actually get out there and loan them equipment and, and, um, and help them, teach them. Uh, because it's, it's difficult enough as it is uh, when commodity prices are the same they were in the 50s and our input costs have, you know, are 10 times higher. So without that help, they're not going to make it and we're going to be left with a corporate farming America. If I had a nugget of wisdom to share, it would be, be careful what you justify. What you justify in your finances, your family, your relationship with your children, your friends. Uh, just be careful what you justify.